Uh, we spoke with the fintech startup Bharat Pay, who has worked out a scheme with the Reserve Bank to remove the harrowing experience which the PMC depositors have had to endure since the year 2019 when the company went under. Let's hear it out then from the founder of Bharat Pay speaking about the game plan. It's a great day for us. Uh, we've got the in principle approval along with Centrum Group uh, for the SFB license, right? which is the first step, uh, so to say, uh, on taking over. Uh, the PMC bank uh, and we are very thrilled uh, the fact that RBI has done their diligence on us and found Centrum and us uh, worthy of a banking license is, is in itself a big thing. Uh, I think in terms of from here on, I would think it should take three to four months to close things end to end, right? Uh, this is the first step which happened before 30th of June. I think within the next three months, um, uh, we should complete the process of formation of the new banking entity and the merger of the the undertaking that we're going to take over from the PNC. Uh, so very excited, and it's a big responsibility as because uh, not only are we uh, starting off a new bank bank, uh, and hopeful that the depositors there can enjoy uh, the hard earned money pretty soon. So you're saying it could take about three months uh, to entire close uh, this process. And you know, Ashni, talk to the viewers, talk to the depositors of PMC Bank who have been looking for a solution since uh, 2019 when the original board of PMC had been superseded, when it turned out that nearly 70% plus of the book had exposure uh, to the uh, you know, HDIL, that there were all kinds of problems with their loans and all of that. Talk to those depositors. What's going to happen to their money? Uh, is this a bank that's going to need funds? Will you and Centrum have to capitalize this bank? Will you have to do in fund infusion? Absolutely. I think uh, see, we are committed to infusing new funds um, uh, uh, into the bank. And that fund will be utilized for building a new book out. right? So we are very committed. In fact, uh, you know, we are committed to the tune of uh, $250 million plus in terms of our capital commitment towards the bank. I think in terms of the existing depositors, uh, we have a very well negotiated and very well laid out scheme with RBI, which over time as you know things uh, unravel, we will uh, put it out at the right point of time. I don't want to jump the gun. Uh, 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 I think uh, it's been uh, uh, it's a it's a start of the end uh, for uh, of the harrowing experience the depositors have had. And things will only look uh, brighter from here, uh, from here on. And hopefully very soon, uh, let's say within a quarter, uh, we should be up and running and it should be business as usual at the bank. You mean within a quarter of, uh, uh, you know, closing this Bharat Pay and Centrum taking over PMC Bank, within a quarter of that, the depositors will be free to do what they want with the money that they had in the bank. There will be, all those restrictions will be lifted. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, uh, as I said, you know, we are hopeful that uh, from here on, it's more logistics for us to take over uh, uh, the bank. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is make sure that everyone who's been waiting to dip into their money, uh, should get the first dip into their money. And, and you know, just uh, stick around with the new banking entity because it's going to be very well capitalized. Uh, and therefore, um, uh, just give us uh, a few days and we will sort of unravel the whole scheme of things. Uh, along with RBI for you. Of course, you talk about a $250 million uh, capitalization also at the bank. Now, Ashneet, if I could ask you this one question. You know, we talk about Indian fintech being uh, so advanced, being way ahead of the West, way ahead of the developed economies as well. Bharat Pay is a three-year-old fintech. Uh, a lot of your early investors, incidentally, we had one of them on the channel earlier, Anuj Gulecha, have exited with 80x returns, all of that. What does this mean for fintech at large? I'm not thinking too much into it. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, it's always great to be among the first or do things first uh, or before anyone else. Um, I just um, feel responsible and a lot more responsible and hope we do a good job because if we uh, do a great job of building a good bank here, I think that will give a lot of confidence to the regulators and the public at large 